So, glory, glory, hallelujah. This song has been around for quite a while. It's uh, believed to have originated in the 18th century from a tune called Say Brothers Will You Meet Us, which was part of the uh, camp meeting tradition of folk hymns that uh, was prevalent throughout the United States in the uh, 18th and 19th centuries. And in those camp meetings, improvisation of hymns was very much uh, considered to be a good thing. And so there became many different versions of hymns. And often the same tunes would be recycled with new lyrics um, in much the same way that the Star Spangled Banner was based on previously existing music. The lyrics were added to the music. So, glory, glory, hallelujah. Since I laid my burden down, those lyrics um, uh, had some predecessors. There was another song called John Brown's Body that was very popular during the Civil War, another marching tune, um, popular among Union soldiers. There was also uh, a tune called Battle Hymn of the Republic, uh, which you may know um, about, I'm going to lay down my sword and shield down by the riverside. That's related to this song, the tune as well. But the lyrics of this song, were written by those who were freed from slavery. It's an African American spiritual, and it was it emerged uh, during emancipation. So the song has many layers of meaning. That being the first and foremost, but other layers include. You know, this past weekend, my, a friend of mine was uh, was talking about, you know, letting go of uh, negative emotional and thought patterns and how it's something we have to remember again and again. And if you can remember again and again, and it takes practice, you can eventually overcome those patterns. I guarantee you that. But this version of the song is based on uh, John Hurt's version, Mississippi John Hurt's version. Now I'll talk more about him later because I'm going to probably play a lot of his tunes. Um, he's one of my favorites. He's one of the greats of all time. He was, he was beloved of many people in the 60s. He was, he was rediscovered. He had a recording career in the 20s. He recorded in like 28 and 29. And then he was rediscovered by blues enthusiasts in the, in the like early 60s. And he had a second career. He played at Newport Folk Festival in Rhode Island. And he played in uh, you know Europe. He toured Europe and the, the States. He, he went all over the place. And his tunes became very much uh, favorites of people like Jerry Garcia and, uh, you know, Bob Dylan and people, you know, people would go on pilgrimage down to Avalon, Mississippi to go see him. In any case, I go on and on about John Hurt. But he, he, his style was different than other Delta players. Like, he was technically from the Delta, he's from Avalon, Mississippi. But unlike, to, like, the more like what you'd call Delta-style players, which really is Charlie Patton, Sun House, Robert Johnson, those kind of guys. He had a little bit more of a ragtime and fused style that was just really compelling and interesting and different. You know, it's just a different flavor. But um, he just sort of it developed in Avalon and he, you know, whoever he was listening to down there. So it was kind of an Avalon style of Delta Blues, if you will. But it was very rhythmically complex and uh, just had a lot of merits to it. So uh, you just got to check out Mississippi John Hurt. Um, 
if you haven't already. So without any more of that, um, this is, uh, since I laid my burden down, based on John Hurt's version. So, here it goes. Yeah. 